All right, it's Antline Alpha, and I just recently found out that that badminton has an N in it, and my mind was blown. And you know what? I thought it was badminton, like mittens that go on your hands. And speaking of things that go on your hands, gauntlets. And this game is called Gauntlet Legends. But it's not like, it's not referring to the type of gauntlets, like in Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, that go on your hands. It's more like gauntlets as in like trials and stuff. So, yeah, I am recording this from my N6, this is a Nintendo 64 game. Um, I believe it was ported from like an arcade, I'm not really sure exactly. I think it was called like Gauntlet Legacy before this. Um, you got your four characters you can start with, Archer, Wizard, Valkyrie, or Warrior. Uh, I think Valkyrie is like one of the last... See, you have all these secret characters. I think Valkyrie is like one of the last ones you unlock. So I'm going to start as Valkyrie um, because you don't see her till later. And also because you too! Hoop! But yeah, I'm going to be green because I, I like it. I like green. And I'm going to change my name. I'll edit this out. So I'll see you in a little bit. All right, this will be my name. I couldn't fit Antline in there because that's seven letters. You only get six, so... I'll be Lionel, which is like an actual name, but it's in the middle of my name. Um, let's see. I'm gonna. I'll save this character later. Because uh, you you need a controller pack to play this game. Uh, the story. You kind of got a little bit of the story in the beginning. But, yeah, if you want the story of this game, here, I'll tell you the story. There's an evil guy, and you need to kill him. There, there's the story. Uh, so, yeah, here's how you enter levels. Also, you press A, and you throw your weapon, and you keep getting more of your weapon, because you have infinite of your weapon. So, that's... Uh, I just found out about difficulty setting apparently it automatically start to a normal you know let's go all out and make sure it stays that way all right um, I've always played it as the game starts you so uh, it looks like we'll be doing expert I have no idea how much harder that is I might end up regretting this but I'm doing my practice run of this on uh, normal. So, let's cut the chitta chatta chuda and get in here. Uh, so, a little bit about this game. I... Whoop. Yeah, thank, thank you, tutorial man. Um, nothing looks different so far in terms of difficulty. I don't know if you need to save and restart to figure that out. Yeah, you won't be hearing much of the narrator past this first level, so don't worry about that. Um, so I'm playing this on an N64. This is my very first... Yeah. Uh, this is my very first uh, Let's Play that's not on an emulator. I have played... Some, I have uploaded some videos from a capture card, but that was just like test. This is for real this time. Um, hopefully I'll be starting to see some differences in terms of things. Uh, there's a lot to explain this first. There's a lot going on. I'm not really covering everything. Uh, yeah, but I'll, I just want to say thank you to my friend Sarah, who gave me an N64 controller. But I also want to apologize because I'm not using it because it was broken. I guess that doesn't really need an apology, but yeah. It's unfortunate that it, uh, she gave me that and it didn't end up coming to use. But she she traded me it in, ter in turn for me letting her borrow uh, Skyward Sword and Majora's Mask for a little bit. But yeah, if it turns out 
one of my older N64 controllers works pretty pretty well, so shouldn't have trouble. And so uh, let's see if we can talk about the game now. Uh, I've collected. You saw me collect some uh, items. You have you can use items a limited amount of times. I did. I already touch. Yeah, I touched an obelisk down there. Uh, you, I think. I think there's obelisks. I don't know if there are obelisks in the other worlds. I think this might be the only uh, world with obelisks, but yeah, they're kind of just things to unlock other things. And here, I'll show this off. If you hold down A when you're like throwing your stuff and you press Z, uh, you'll uh, do like a super attack that kind of destroys everything in front of you. Which is very useful when things get heated. You don't really need to use it much um, in this first level. Uh, you can see down in the corner there, I'll throw my sword toward it. Uh, it as you can see, there's four of these little slots on the bottom. I'm going to uh, turn this... Whoops. Uh, turn this compass rose off. Don't need no directions. Uh, that you can see it like charges. It has like the green bar. And then it goes to yellow, and then it goes to red, and that's the red is the full power. You like never need to use. It's like never in your benefit to use the green or the yellow. But I'll I'll show it off eventually, just for the heck of it. Um, and then once you gain your first level, it tells you that you can use the turbo thing. But I. Oh yeah, by the way, you, you gain levels in this game. It's not... It's, this isn't an RPG, like in the traditional sense. You get items, you gain levels, and that makes you stronger, because this in this first level, you're, you, it also makes you go faster. Pretty much everything upgrades at the same time once you gain a level. Um, but yeah, other than that, there's not much to say about it. You, I'll, I'll show off all, all the items eventually. I know I got some. I didn't really do anything with them, but okay. But yeah, uh, you can get like once you get an item, you don't have like you don't get the maximum amount until like you get the item a couple times. Once, once I get the maximum amount of an item, I will use it until I have. Until I deplete it enough to where the next time I pick it up, I'll have the maximum amount again. So hopefully, I'll be able to do that in that sense. Anyway, very much explanation this first episode because I imagine I need to do some explaining since I I really I've never watched an LP of this game. I don't think anyone who people are familiar with have played this game and. I'm sure if someone else starts this, they can say the same thing, because a lot of people aren't familiar with me. Oh, uh, yeah. You can throw potions. Potions, you don't need to use them just yet. Uh, we haven't seen any food yet. Food heals you. You can see my health there in the corner. It's depleting because I'm getting shot with arrows like an idiot. Um, let's see. What else do I need to say? Uh... There, I was just saying something. Oh yeah, food. Uh, food, fruit, heals 50. The narrator will be sure to explain that to you. Um, uh, but sometimes you'll encounter poison food. And if you use a potion on it, the poison food will become regular fruit. So that's helpful. And if you see one of these... Uh, if I can hit it, those explosive barrels... It'll, like, instantly destroy anything next to it. If I can get it... There we go, there. Destroy the generator. I've gained some levels now. That's nice. Um, got some keys. You can hold a maximum of ten keys. Here's fruit. Uh, every character, every different type of character says something different. It's a hyper speed! Ever, says something different for uh, whatever... Whenever you get food, every character will say something different. Um, I think... I'm not sure what the Valkyrie says. I think the Valkyrie says, uh, Oh, sustenance! But you might not have heard it because the narrator interrupted. And there's our first level. That's all we need. Uh, I didn't notice a difficulty change in this, so I'm going to have to... 
either a look up how to get the difficulty to do what it's supposed to do or just not worry about it and so there's the first level um, I didn't really explain much about the generators there's not much to explain really you are now entering uh, well actually yes there is I don't know what I'm saying uh, each generator it doesn't it'll whoa whoa uh oh Wait, magic to create a shield? Oh, okay, I forgot about that. Whoa, 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 whoa. That, that, that's actually pretty helpful sometimes. Um, uh, also, another thing that the the magic does is it kills death, and you'll... Uh, see, here's a... Press B to use magic, it'll turn this. Obviously poisonous... Oh, the Valkyrie says, I like food. Someone, I think the archer says, "Ugh, sustenance," which is the funniest sounding one to me. But yeah, the generators. There's three forms of a generator. There's like the small form that uh, spawns the weakest enemy, and the medium, medium enemy, strongest generator, strongest enemy. You probably could have figured that out yourself. Anyway, uh, yeah, this is a game. Have you heard of it? It's pretty fun. Destroy dirt mounds and cover switches. I just did it. I did it already. Gold. I think you can have like a maximum amount of gold too for some reason, but it's you'll not you'll probably won't be maxing out gold unless you like replay through levels cuz you'll probably be at the end of the game and still have room for more gold. And everybody wants more gold. What is this? Rapid fire. Oh yeah. I'll be showing that off, oh, don't you worry. Uh, collectibles in this game, this is not a collectathon. It is a something a thon. Yeah, meat heals 100. I think something heals 150. I, I don't actually know. Um, I don't actually remember for sure. But, yeah. Is there anything else I need to say? Yeah, I was talking about collectibles. Really, the only thing that's collectibles in this game are rune stones. And, uh, there's three of them. I think there's... I think there might be some levels where there's two, or maybe more than three. I don't know. But, yeah, uh, there's, like, three in each world on average. And... Potions to kill death. Where is death? Oh, 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 that's a kamikaze. By the game, by, by the game, by the way. Okay, I, I don't know if you'll hear the narrator there. Uh, what was I saying? No, I can't, I can't, I can never gather my thoughts on the first segment of a. Oh, I did something there. Yeah, the other two. Like, levels of the turbo attack do very little to help you. Um, yeah, uh, something I was saying about runestones. Uh, I don't know. Let me go back down there, see if I can retrace my thoughts. Something about... Oh, yeah! Now I remember. It actually worked. This game is rated T... 14, but this is the only game that was rated T14 that I played before I was a T14. Uh, I was not allowed to play GoldenEye or any M rated games, but that I can understand. But this, my brother is the one who got this game. I don't know where he first heard it, but yeah, he, sh he showed me this game and. Um, he showed my mom basically the violence in this game what, by like hitting enemies, how it's basically just forms like an, uh, a hologram of the enemy when you kill them. It's like little red spots, I guess, could be blood. And she's like, okay, yeah, I guess you can play that. Because I don't think my brother was AT14 either when we first got this game. But, uh, Archer. 
Yeah, you can you can be an archer in this game, but there's oh, limited growth. You can also be a or you cannot be a bomber, but you will see rogue bar bombers in this game, which I think there's one like just down here. If I'm not correct, if I am correct, which I am correct, look at that. Look at that, we good. So yeah. Uh, oh, there's a thing. I'm gonna hope, go ahead and probably should have saved that actually. Scroll, scrolls gives you a hint. The first of many rune stones. I'll be coming across this, cr coming across that. Yeah. It's kind of hard to hard tell which barrels are like regular and which are explosive in some of these uh, things. Some of the lighting in this game. Alright, this right here that I'm throwing my sword at, I'm going to go ahead and wake it up. This is called a golem. And they are the strongest enemies in the game. Uh, they take a lot of hits. And uh, in every world the enemies change and also actually like halfway through a world the enemies change sometimes but also the golems change and the golems sometimes look really cool in other worlds sometimes they're they're just pretty much a palette swap but uh, yeah, there we go you kind of gotta like backtrack when killing those things just because of how many hits they take you don't want them to hit you they don't do that much damage but they do like knock you on your feet and he can kind of like spam you once you're on your ground because you'll just keep like you'll keep getting up and he'll keep hitting you back down so those guys can be kind of dangerous sometimes but it's also they're also cool all right this is a rune stone uh, I might have seen it in like the intro cutscene yeah, the narrator likes to talk over whenever you get a runestone and it's it's a cool that's cool the runestones is if you're if you like to explore like me they won't be too hard to find because that that wall was very obvious that it was different than the other wall so yeah it's easy to find um wait where is that? Uh, it's down further. That switch opened something back down lower. It's not required, but I'm going to show it off anyway. I think it was just gold. Um, this recording is up to 18 minutes right now for me. Uh, I'm going to have to get used to this. Uh, oh yeah, and it has this thing. Levitation. I don't remember when you use levitation, because I don't think it lets you go over gaps. So I'm not sure what it's used for, because that's what I would have guessed it would be used for. But yeah, the levitation, or I mean, the the thing about this game is like, you, you well, you can't jump, but also you, you can't like fall off like the tiniest of edges even to, even if there's like a lower area just like inches away from it so you base you can't there's no dying in this game by falling off the map that's impossible but uh, yeah I still curious about what the difficulty change is so far in this game I'm gonna have to like look up game facts or something to see what that is because I want to make this harder I'm interested in it. I want a hard game. These guys are very annoying because they are big and I am weak. Stop being weak, Valkyrie. You too. I will marry the Troll King. Alright, can I get your thing? There we go. I got your thing. You will see a lot of these traps here. Um, or not right there, but in this game. You'll see a lot of those traps. Okay, now I'm backtracking. Um, you'll, you'll see the ones on the floor and on the wall that kind of looks like a tumor that breathes fire. I don't know what its deal is, but you'll see different versions of the those types of traps. Some of them are actually pretty creative. Like in the next world, there'll be like a squid tentacle thing. 
Um, and that's the end of the level. I don't know if you'll be able to hear the music in this Let's Play much, because the music, I, I, you might be able to... I didn't really check the settings, so you might be able to... Uh, finagle with it and make it louder, but the music really isn't that noticeable in this game in general. There's one song in the next world that is actually really good. I really like it. So I'll point that out when it happens, but most for the most part, the, the, game, the music in this game is really subtle and or ominous and just kind of like just there to create an eerie atmosphere. But yeah, this is Gone Legends. I hope you enjoyed the first part. I'm sorry it was a lot of explanation. Next time it'll be all laughs and uber tukalakatoo toothpicks. It'll have toothpicks and I will throw a toothpick at your face. There you go. Have a good day. Bing bang. Goodbye.